Hello friends, this is Dave of javacodejunkie.com and welcome to another Data Access Objects video tutorial. In today's episode, we continue building our DAO implementation by filling in the blanks on some of our methods. Let's go to Eclipse and our Employee DAO Implementation class. And here is the method that we're going to create today. In the Employee DAO Implementation, we have all of the CRUD methods to create, receive, update, and delete that we're going to need in order to persist data into our database and to be able to retrieve data out of our database. So let's get rid of this comment. And instead of return null, we're going to return employee in order to get data out of our database, we need a database connection. So we're going to make use of the database class that we created in our last episode. Connection con equals database dot get connection. I'm going to create an employee object and set it to null explicitly. And then I'm going to create some SQL code that will actually allow us to create a prepared statement. String SQL equals select. And then I'm going to specify the fields that we're going to get from the employee table. ID, employee ID, first name, last name, and department ID from the table name is employees and then we'll attach a where clause where ID equals and we'll have a placeholder which is our question mark and if you'd like to learn about this process in more depth I've created a number of videos on JDBC which you can have a look at and I'll leave a link to those in the description below. Now that we have our SQL code we can create a prepared statement. Prepared statement PS equals con which is our connection object dot prepare statement specifying the SQL code that we just created. And now we have to actually replace the placeholder in our SQL code with the ID that's parameter from this method. So it's ps.setInteger. Parameter index is one based, so the first one is ID. Then we have to get a result set. Result set equals ps.executeQuery. Then we check if we do have a record. So if rs.next int oid, and I'm using the name oid for the id as we already have an id that's included as a parameter to this method, equals rs.getInt, and the column is id. int employee ID equals rs dot get int employee ID and all we're doing here is getting all of the uh, fields out of the current record that we got from our database string first name equals rs dot get string first name string last name equals rs dot get string last name int department ID 
equals rs dot get int department id and then we'll create the employee object employee equals new employee oid employee id first name last name department id and then we return the employee to the calling method and it either returns a new employee object or a null depending on whether or not an employee record was actually found with the id that was supplied and the next step is to actually test that our method works so we're going to go back to our main class comment out the code that's currently there. The first step is to create an employee data access object. New employee DAO implementation. And now that we have the employee DAO implementation, we can call the method get on the employee DAO implementation employee which is the return type employee equals employee DAO dot get and if we go to dbeaver and look at the records that are currently in our employee table we have two one with the id of eight and the other with the id of ten back to eclipse i'm going to use the id of ten and we're going to attempt to get that from our employee table. And then we'll just sys out to the console. Employee. Right click on our project, run as Java application. And there we have the employee ID of 10, employee ID of 123456. First name Rick, last name Blaine, and department is three, and that can be verified simply by going back to our table in dBeaver. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a like and subscribe so that you don't miss any videos when I release new content. I hope to see you again in the next video. Until then, stay safe and keep on coding.